When I think of photography, it's pretty much, you know, we've, I like to find places that are unique, you know, places you, you'd never expect someone to venture into. It's something most of us take for granted. We see something we want to remember and snap. We take a picture. That's awesome. But for a few high school students in St. Augustine, capturing a memory is just half the battle. Um, we came across a digital photography section in the textbook. And I asked, had, has anyone ever done this one before? And they told me no, so I said, why not? And I actually got the most opposition from the kids because they said, well, we're blind. Why should we need to learn digital photography? So I thought, even if when you're a parent someday and your child says, can you take a picture of me? At least to have an awareness of what the camera feels like in your hand, how to point it, how to shoot. For that, that alone, why not expose them to that? Let's see if I can get a more unique shot of this. What was originally planned as a one-week lesson turned into a month-long photography study for visually impaired students at the Florida School for the Deaf and Blind. To really use your other senses, like not only your sight, you can use your hearing and your smell and everything like that. Like you don't only have to use your sight to take a picture. We were near an ocean right now. I would probably be using my sense of smell to, you know, know where the ocean is. Or say I was taking a picture of you, I'd hear for your voice and try to center the camera to where your direction was. Okay, so since I'm wind chimes, like I suggested, Josh, take a picture. Oh, I'm take a picture. Well, you want to take a picture of something else? You can find so, like something so simple that you just would pass by on the street. And you take a picture of it, and it's like, it gets a whole new, I guess, perspective in a way. In addition to learning to better use their senses, students have also broadened their horizons by helping each other see simple objects in new ways. We do the macro shots, where we do the close-up shots. So it just gets a simple object, and they pick, and it can be something outside, something on their person. Sometimes they'll choose a necklace or their glasses. And just look at, you know, look at the emblem. Maybe you didn't notice that before. You know, you probably felt it, but did you see it? And we put it up on that smart board, and then they can see, you know, this huge thing. Just very cool, very cool. So cool, in fact, that Ashley, a freshman with albinism, which makes her sensitive to light, has decided to pursue a career in photography. She'll say, look at this one, and look at this one, and what do you think of this one? And, and it's just amazing, you know, she'll take a picture of her sneaker, but just some, you know, the way that she did it was just, uh, their composition is just, and it's just natural, she just does it, and just good eye. It's just, it's like, it's just different to me, because you can take all of these kind of different pictures, and there's all, it's like a different kind of art, I guess. Since I've been here, they taught me how to like use my senses and stuff, so it's like a lot easier. I think it's different for each student, but for some of them, it's a creative outlet. You know, they uh, something that they felt good about themselves and doing that maybe they thought they never could have done before. And several of the kids have come and says, "I want to pursue this as a career." And when you hear that, you just think, "My job's done." You know, that they got that excited about it. And when they win places at these exhibits, you know, you just you're, you're elated for them and proud of them for sure. For more on photography from students at the Florida School for the Deaf and Blind, check out Jeremy Cox's article in the Florida Times Union and look for photo galleries on Jacksonville.com. For Jacksonville.com, I'm Amanda Warford. So, uh, pretty much, let's, uh, I guess we could take one of the uh, baseball diamonds here. Cool. If I can get it in here, good enough to get in. Good enough. Perfect. Very good. Now what? Oh, uh, Pretty good look, view of the uh, of a good uh, river scene.